بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So now we move on to the khatima. So in the khatima, we discuss, we have three maqsid, amil, ma'mul, and the i'rab, and then the khatima of the book. So the, the book has a khatima at the end. But we're discussing the khatima in the first maqsid of amil. So in the first maqsid is also a khatima. So after we discuss fa'al amil, harf amil, uh, isma amil, and amil, ma, amil al ma'nawi, we're now discussing the khatima. So some Concluding, not concluding, but more of like a few uh, index, a lot of index, appendix regarding some miscellaneous rules regarding the amil. So in surah, what we covered basically, we said two in the khatima there, we discussed tanazu and we discussed hazf al amil. When two amils compete for one ma'mul, that's called tanazu, and we discussed hazf of the amil. So in regard to tanazu, there's no more new details regarding tanazu. So if you go through here, so the khatima, wa fihi faslan, is two fasl, two things we want to discuss in here. The first is a tanazu. What does tanazu mean? It came already in surah. Ay kad yatanazu amilani aw akthar fi ma'mulin wahid. When you have one amil and these two amils are both vying for the same ma'mul. For example, arju wa akhafullah. So the word arju wa akhafu. I hope in Allah and I fear Allah. So the word the word, the word arju and the word akhafu, both of them need the word Allah jalala to be the ma'mul of it. So which one is a ma'mul of? It be the ma'mul of the one closest to it, akhafullah. It is obviously a difference of opinion regarding the scholars, but we say the one closest to it is it easier. Or it doesn't matter. It's main meaning basically. Uh, it's I fear and I hope in Allah. And the word both amil, the fa'il mudari arju and the fa'il mudari akhafu, both of them are vying to become the amil of the word Allah. The next masla we have is the has and I already came in sura, so I'm going to go over that again in detail. The next masla we have is hazful amil. There's more detail in here. In in, in sura. We simply stated that sometimes the amil is mahzuf, yes? But here we want to discuss a few more uh, scenarios in detail. Which, which places are these? So, qad yuhzaful amilu fi. So the amil can be removed in the following scenarios here. Number one, jawabil istifhami. In the jawabul istifham. If you have a question, what do you have? You have a question. So obviously when we speak normally, we don't have to repeat, we don't repeat every single thing. The person speaking before you, his sentence gives you context to what you intend. So for example, when you say Allah fi jawabi man qala man ta'budu. Somebody said to you man ta'budu fi jawabi in response to someone who said man ta'budu. So somebody said man ta'budu, who do you worship? You don't, you don't have to say a'budu Allah. What would you simply say? Allah. Now the amil in Allah is mahzuf. Why? Because we understood it from the context. What's the context? The person's question. So here, we just, we just simply say Allah and the fail and the fail is mahzuf, the amil is mahzuf. So normally in istifham, for example, If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say Allah, ay, khalaqahunna Allah. But because the question is the context of the fail is in there, so you don't need to repeat it. So in jawabul istifham, the amil is very commonly removed. Does that make sense? Yes? So the amil can be removed in jawabul istifham. For example, Allah in reply to the one who says to you, man ta'budu, who do you worship? So you say, Allah. So in there, the, the, the amil is mahzuf, I a'budu Allah, I worship Allah. Is that clear? The first place, one of the first places where it can be mahzuf? Yes? Yes? Any questions regarding this? When nida. The second place is Nida. Nahu ya Ahmadu. Ya Ahmadu. And we hinted towards this before. Ay adu Ahmada. What we say, Ya is really in place of adu. Ya in place of Ahmadu. Ay adu. Correct? Ya Ahmadu. Ay adu Ahmada. So Ya really means adu. When you say Ya, that Ya is basically in place of the adu. That's why we say, the word Ahmad is what? What's Mahal in Arab of Ahmad? Munada. What did we say it was? It's Mansub Mahalan Mabni al Adam. Mansub Mahalan Mabni al Adam. Because it's, it's Maful Bihi of the verb Adu. But obviously, it's just basically codifying how the Arabs speak. So when you say Ya Ahmad, you say Ya is in place of Adu. So it kind of represents or symbolizes. So is the Amil Mahzuf or the Amil in replace? You can phrase it both ways. but. You see, the, the, the verb, the real adu, I am calling, is mahdu. So, ya ahmadu, ay adu ahmada. Do you understand? So, when you have harf al nida, the verb is no longer there. Understood? Everybody following? Yes? Okay. Another place where the amil is mahdu 
is in tahdeer. In khutbah, we say khutbah, Allah, Allah, fi ashabi. So if you want to say, um, uh, fear something, like be wary of something, you re there's two ways you can do it. One is, you can say, repeat the word, Allah, Allah, fear Allah, fear Allah. Yes, you say Allah, whatever word you repeat, is like basically, that's what, uh, that's the thing that you're warning that person about. So Allah, Allah, will mean, ittaqillaha, ittaqillaha, ihdarillaha. So that double word, you don't mean to bring the verb because when you repeat that word twice, the Arabs know that this is a warning. The verb, whatever mer verb you assume you must before that is going to be like ihdar or ittaqi. Are you following? Got it? Yes? And iyaka wal hasad is also a very particular structure. What the Arabs do is if you want to warn somebody about something, you can repeat the word. Or the thing you want to warn about, you bring it after Zamir Mansub. So let's say I want to warn one, uh, one uh, male about a lion. Or I want to warn one male about Jahannam. I say, Iyaka wanar. If I want to warn two people about hasad, about, about uh, lying, I would say what? What would I say? Iyakuma wal kadiba. You two be wary of or stay away from. So it's, it's an idiomatic structure. It's like why it happens and all that. They try to break it down. They simply say that you put Iyaka, the Zamir Mansub Munfasil. You adjust the Zamir to suit the person you're speaking to. You put a Harful Atf. And then the thing you're warning about, you put that as a Ma'atuf. Do you understand? So if I say Iyaka wal Kasal, Iyakum wal Kasal, I be, be wary of being lazy. Iyaka wal Ajala, be wary of being hasty. Iyaka wal kithba, be wary of lying, etc, etc, etc. Do you understand? So when you have tahdi, when you're warning somebody, the verb, ay ihdar, be wary of, ittaqi, be fearful of, stay away from, abstain from. This verb is mahzuf, and having a repeated structure shows that it's a context. Iyaka wa, the context of that structure shows that what? It's a warning in here. Do you understand? Yes? Does it make sense? Everybody following? So in tahdeer, what's tahdeer mean? To warn. So in, in, in these two formulae, repeating a word without between them, without anything else, Allah, Allah, al-hasada, al-hasada, al-aduwa, al-aduwa. This is basically a tahdeer. Or you say, iya ka kumakum ki kumakunna, wow harfu'at, plus the ma'atuf, which is the thing you're warning from. These two structures, the verb ihdar or the verb, ittaqi is mahzuf, and it's always mahzuf. Do you understand? It's another place where you have the fail. The amil becomes mahdhuf. Does that make sense? Yes? Everybody understand this? This is new. So have you understood this structure, this sentence, this phrase? Yes? The next one is... The next one is called al-ishtighal. Ishtighal hasn't come... It didn't come in sukra. Ishtighal. What's ishtighal mean? Ishtighal is basically the opposite of... Um, Tanazur. In Tanazur, you have two loving parents, both fighting for the child. Yes? Following? So now you have Akhafu wa Arju, they're both fighting for to do amal in their word, love the Jalala. And Ishtighal is, I'm too busy, I got no time. That's what Ishtighal is. Shughlun, to become occupied. What's the tarkeeb of this? Allah a'buduhu. What's the tarkeeb of this? A Arab of this. What do you think it's going to be? Allah a'buduhu. Is it anybody? Huh? Pardon me? Mubtada khabar? Subhanallah. Exactly, yeah. It's not marfu. It's not marfu. Okay, Allah has mufu'un be very good. What's the mufu'un to which verb? He wants to become mufu'un bihi by saying, no, I'm too busy. Why is he busy? He said, I'm busy, I've already got Mufool. Sorry, mate. I've got no space. I've already got Abuduhu. I can't, you, you want to become my Mufool, but I can't let you become Mufool because the Who's already there. You see the problem? If there wasn't Who, if we, if we took out the word Who, let's say we took out the word Who, then you're right. Is Mufool bihi muqaddam? Because Abudu has one, two slots. It has many slots. It has one file slot, one Mufool bihi slot. One maf'ul fihi slot, well it can have two maf'ul bihi. It has one maf'ul lahu slot. 
You can have ma'atu fali ma'atu, that's different. But slot is only, you can split the slot, you can have two slots. The word a'budu is not a fa'l, it's not a fa'l muta'addi ila maf'ulain. It's fa'l muta'addi ila maf'ulin wahid. It has one slot. You can split the slots into ma'atu fali ma'atu. But it's only got one slot. Now when we have a a'budu, what's happened to the maf'ul bihi slot? It's been taken up. And the word Allah, the zameer is the same thing as this one. So this literally, ex this can't be the maf'ul bihi of a'buduhu. Do you understand the problem? You understand why it can't be the maf'ul bihi of a'budu? Does everybody understand why it can't be the maf'ul bihi of a'budu? So now we have to... Yeah, because the slot is taken up, so it can't become a full bihi muqaddam. So what we would say is that because the word Allah and the zamir refers back to that, we'll have to say there's another a'budu before it mahzuf. And this is the amil, the a'bu, another a'budu. Do you understand? You following? Do you understand the Arab? So here, this is maf'ul bihi, it would have been maf'ul bihi of the a'budu, but because there's already a zamir here, then what happens now? This has to become a maf'ul of, ma of another amil. It's mushtagil. That, that this amil is mushtagil. It was a Muslim. It's a mahzuf. A muqaddar. It's hidden. Assumed. So a'budu is mahzuf. Allah is a maf'ul bihi of that a'budu. Why? Because the a'budu who is already employed. The a'budu is already taken up the one, one slot that we have. Correct? So now because a'budu who is Allah. So you understand the a'rab? The a'rab and the tarkib aspect of this? Yes. Now the bet G. What's the question? No, you can't make a move the button. Why not? I'm not sure, but they can't make a move the button. Uh. Now that's the next point. The next point is why do this in the first place? What's the point? The point is how many times is the word abudu uh, being? So the thing is. This, the benefit of this structure is what? That the word A'budu and Allah are linked twice. A'budu is linked to this here, and, it's, and the word Allah is mentioned once, is mentioned twice. So it creates a lot more emphasis. You might think, why do this? Why, why not say Allah A'budu? We say Allah A'budu, who? You pray it twice. Allah is maf'ul bihi of another mahzu verb, and A'budu, who is also the, the zamir which refers to Allah, is referring to A'budu. So it's linked twice, it's double link. It creates more strength. So you, you, you translate it as I worship Allah and you have to add an emphasis. It is Allah alone, I worship. I don't know, you have to add an emphasis to create that. You see the emphasis. The emphasis comes because of taqdeem. It comes first and it's double. The link is double. You double the link. Do you understand? Instead of simply... So if you say A'budu, A'budu Allah, huh? okay, I worship Allah. If you say A'budu, Allah, huh? A'budu, Allah, huh? That's basically what it is. A'budu Allah, A'budu Allah. But then you say here, we take out this word, and Allah A'buduhu. So this A'budu, so basically A'budu Allah A'buduhu. It's repeating the sentence twice, isn't it? But instead of saying A'budu Allah A'buduhu, you just take out this word, it's answered from the context, and then say Allah A'buduhu. So this here, ishtighal, creates emphasis and ta'keed because the maf'ul bihi is affected twice by the verb. Once by the, so the, the, once the, once the main word is affected by a hidden verb and the zamir of that word is affected again by the word. So it's more emphasis, meant more emphasis in this. Do you understand? So these are the scenarios and the situations where the amil becomes mahdhuf. Now regarding the a'rab inshallah. What do we say what? Ishtighal means, it, don't, it, not, it means to be busy. But we just translate it as a, as, use an Arabic term. Ishtighal is an Arabic term. We just say there's ishtighal in here. There's no English translation I could find that would suit uh, or be appropriate. Okay, there's a few more scenarios where the amil is mahzuf. Inshallah, we'll do that on Monday, inshallah. No, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a meaning or the translation. But ishtighal is a particular term. Learn the word ishtighal and tahzeer. These are terminologies that we need to know of. Inshallah, we continue from here on Monday. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmaduhu wa nasalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. So we are now continuing to discuss the places where the amil is mahzuf. So previously, we had mentioned a few places and we said that the amil is mahzuf. Uh, we had the places here. For example, in Jawabul Istifam, if you have a question, then the Jawab will have the amil as mahzuf. In Nida, the particle Ya is understood to be there, and that's mahzuf. 
تحذیر اللہ اللہ ایاک والحسد انویزن اشتغال when we have uh, one amil and two ma'amul and the amil slot is already taken up for example Allah a'buduhu we did that previously now the last few places they all come under one heading where the amil is mahzuf is in a shibhul jumla uh, what happens is if you look at it here the amil of a shibhul jumla so not the shibhul jumla itself but the amil of the shibhul jumla is mahzuf when the shibhul jumla becomes a khabar and when we then Iraq, we've done this already before so I said an-najatu fi sidqi an-najatu fi sidqi salvation is in speaking the truth now a simple way of doing this is we say this is the mubtada marfu'un bi dhamma and fi sidqi is jar majroo the shibhul jumla becomes a khabar that's one way of doing it that's, that's a shorter version the actual version is an-najatu is the Mubtada and the Shibhul Jumla the Jar Majru becomes the Shibhul Jumla and this Shibhul Jumla becomes the Maf'ul Fihi of a hidden verb and the, uh, the Amil is Mahzuf do you remember we've done this before in one of the Arabs? is it ring the bell? so Jar Majru, the Shibhul Jumla comes the Khabar that's a shorter version but originally we say the Shibhul Jumla is a Maf'ul Fihi of a hidden Amil and that hidden arm can be a verb because it's istaqarra you say it's istaqarra is a verb and that istaqarra is the fail fail or istaqarra because obviously it's najat so an najatu istaqarra and istaqarra basically means is so najat is it is present or you can say it's mustaqirrun with a kasr and a qaf mustaqirrun Mustaqirun or instead of Mustaqirun you can say Thabitun or you can say Mawjudun any of these so the Amil the Amil of the Shibhul Jumla is Mahzuf in this when it's a Khabar so what we what, what we do in the beginning book to make it very 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 easy you say Jar Majru become the Khabar but a more technical way of this is saying is the more technical way is the Fish Siddiqi is a, is a Shibhul Jumla and that shibhul jumla is a ma'mul of a hidden amil istaqarrat or mustaqirratun and mustaqirratun because obviously it's mu'annas najat thabitatun or mawjudatun do you understand? does that make sense to everybody? so in here the amil of the shibhul jumla has become mahadhuf is that clear? Ji. another place on all of these shibhul jumlas in the maf'ul bihi of maf'ul bihi of of a fa'lu qasam you never say, you say wallahi, I was wallahi, I uqasimu billahi. So even in here, the verb uqasimu, wow is harfu jar, wa qasam, is the majroo, this shibu jumla becomes what? The maf'ul and bihi of uqasimu mahzuf. Do you understand? So here, when the shibu jumla becomes maf'ul bihi of a fa'il, which denotes the meaning of a qasam, then we say here, then, then the amil of the verb, of the shibu jumla becomes mahzuf. And it becomes what? Uqasimu. When it becomes a hal, now what happens, what do we say? The rule is, the shibhul jumla becomes, now if you look at this example, As'alullah hal firdawsa fil jannah. What is fil jannah becoming the maf'ul fihi of? Fihi of? What is becoming maf'ul fihi of in this example? Why not of as'alu? Why can't they, why? You're not asking in Jannah. If you're in Jannah, because it's not the maf'ul fee of Jannah, of As'al, you're not asking when you're in Jannah. You're asking for a firdaus, which is in Jannah. So this, this when the jar majroor, the shibhu jumla, gives information regarding a noun, then it either becomes a hal or it becomes a not. Now this is only semantical, like in terms of meaning, they both describe the noun. If the noun is describing becomes the hal, if, if the noun it is describing is ma'rifah, the shibhu jumla becomes the hal. So, As'alullah al-firdawsa Then, al-mustaqirra Yeah, yeah, mustaqirran Mustaqirran, not almost It'd be mustaqirran Mustaqirran, or thabitan Which is established or which is, which is in Jannah Or not, same thing here But because this is, this is nakira, baytan This becomes a baytan mawjudan Or baytan thabitan, baytan mustaqirran Any of these, unless this becomes the shibu jumla Come the na' the maf'ul fi of that hidden amil. Do you understand? So in all of so in the in these three scenarios, in these three scenarios, what we do 
is we say that in these three scenarios, one, two, and three, the amil is waj is is mahzuf wujuban. It has to be mahzuf. You never have it. You don't have a jannah a najatu mawjud fi sidq. This is maha is mahzuf. Is am is mahzuf. The amil is mahzuf, but is what is wajib to make it mahzuf. Yes, you following? It's wajib to make it mahzuf. And here you can say la uqsimu bi yawm al You can bring the verb uqsim if you want to. Yes, and in these and in these what you can say. We can say Shibul Jumna is a khabar Fil Jannah is a Fil Jannah is a what? The Shibul Jumna becomes a hal Or the Shibul Jumna becomes a naat That's a shorter version But the original version is That the amil of these Shibul Jumna is mahzuf Is that clear to everybody? So let's go to some of the Arab of these So Arju wa Akhafullah What's happening in here? In Arju wa Akhafullah This is what? You have two amil one ma'mu. This is called what? Tanazu. This is tanazu in here. So in here we have the normal thing. But now we can say Lavdu Jalal is maf'oolun bihi. We say here Li arju or akhafu. It's up to you. The grammarians have their own reasons which one they choose. You can either write maf'oolun bihi of arju or you can say maf'oolun bihi of akhafu. And in either case it comes mansubun bil fatha. Okay? So you just pick one or you can even put both. Either one of them. You can put both. Is a maf'ul bihi of arju aw akhafu Okay, so when you have a tanazu' You have arju wa akhafu Allah When you have Allah Allah I, what, Why is that? This is probably, I don't know why I think Allah, my mistake came up first So we're gonna Allah Oh, oh sorry When you have jawabu When you have, this is jawabu al-istifam, sorry This is jawabu al-istifam if somebody asks you, Man ta'budu? What do they ask you? Man ta'budu? You will say, Allah. So you see here, Love jalal is maf'oolun bihi li mahzuf. Taqdeeru a'budu. Because they ask you, Man ta'budu? So Allah, I a'budu Allah. So love jalal is mansu because of a hidden verb, a'budu. Understood? And does that make sense? Yes? Ya Ahmed. When we say Ya Ahmed, we say Ya is harfu nida. Mabni al sukun. Then the Ahmadu is Munada, Maf'oolun bihi li mahzuf, taqdeeru ad'u. Correct? Taqdeeru is ad'u. So ad'u, so therefore this is ad'u, this is like, this is like, uh, this is like, uh, Maf'ool bihi of the hidden verb. So mansub mahallan, but mabni al dham. So it's mabni al dham, but mahallan is mansub because it's maf'ool bihi of a hidden verb. Hey, what are you following me on that one? Okay. When you repeat the verb Allah, Allah, what do we say here? What in this scenario we say, Love Jalal is maf'oolun bihi of a hidden verb. Taqdeeru ihdhar. Correct? It's ihdhar. And then the second Love Jalal becomes ta'kid lavdi. So we say mu'akkad, ta'kid, and they both become the maf'oolun bihi of ihdhar. That's how we do the Arab and Tarkib of this. Does that make sense? So Love Jalal is maf'oolun bihi of a mahzuf, which is ihdhar. Be careful of, uh, fear Allah. Iyaka wal hasada Again, some of these have, you will see different variations of Arab This is the easiest one, the simplest one I've chosen Iyaka is maf'oolun bihi of a fa'il mahzuf It's ihdhar, mansubun mahallan, mabni al-fatr So Iyaka is maf'oolun bihi And then, this is ma'atufun alayh Ma'atufun alayhi And hasad becomes what? Ma'atufun Okay? Wa'ab is harfu'at, mabniyatun al-fatr Hasad is ma'atufun ala iya, mansubun al-fatr And then both of these become the of unun bihi of the ihdhar, hidden verb. Do you understand the Arab of this? Okay. Now when you have Allah a'budu, what kind of sayga is this? This is ishtighal. When you have ishtighal, why is this ishtighal? Jog your memories again. It's ishtighal because we have one amil. The amil slot is already taken. Who? So therefore, this can't be maf'ul bihi of this. Because the slot is already taken. So we have to assume another hidden a'budu before. Do you understand? So we will say here, Allah, love of Jalala, is maf'oolun bihi li mahzufin taqdeeruhu a'budu. Whatever verb it is, we assume another hidden one before it, and then this becomes the maf'ool bihi of that. And the reason we do this, or the reason is then the kalam al-Arab, is to create emphasis and ta'keed. And then a'budu is fa'al mudari marfu'un bi dhamma, ana dhamiru mustatirun fa'alu marfu'un mahallan, the ha'az maf'oolun bihi mansubu mahallan. This all, we've already done this before, this kind of structure. 
Yes? And then we see here, this jum, this, so this, these are two jumlas. So the jumla a'budullah the mahzuf. So the a'budullah, that's ibtida'iya. And la mahalla laha min al-a'rab. Okay, so this is two separate jumlas. They don't, they don't have a mahalla in the pre-next one. In an-najat al-fisqid, an-najat al-mubtada, then we say the shibhul jumla, the fisqidqi, that the shibhul jumla is maf'ul fi ghaysari wa mahzuf. Yes, what's the mahzuf? The hidden verb, istaqarrat. Istaqarrat. Yes, mansubun mahalla, because maf'ul fi, and the mahzuf ma'ash shibhul jumla, becomes a khabar and that becomes marfu'un mahallan this becomes marfu'un mahallan yes so so the fi sidqi itself is mansub mahallan because it is maf'ul fi of the hidden amil the istakharat and the istakharat and the fi sidqi is a khabar so it becomes mar- marfu'un mahallan do you understand are you guys following yes is it clear to everybody G. okay and now we're saying what we can do, what we can do, ikhtisaran, to make it, is to shorten it, we can say the shibhul jumla is khabar ghaysari, if we wanted to. Yes, that's what people do sometimes, they say, oh, the, the shibhul jumla is khabar ghaysari, marfu mahallan. But in technically speaking, it's best to have it as, uh, technically, more technically, right, is have the shibhul jumla, the mahzuf, shib, the mahzuf amil, and the shibhul jumla. Together they become what? The maf'ulun uh, fihi. Understood? Same with Wallahi, we say Wallahi is what? Harfun Jarm Abni al Fath, Lav Jalal Majurum al Kasra, and the Shibhul Jumla becomes Maf'ul bihi Ghaisari of the hidden verb Uqasimu. Basically, Wallahi means Uqasimu billahi. So it's Maf'ul bihi of the hidden Ma'amil. You got it? And then the rest you continue as normal. As'alullah al Firdausa, Firdausa, you say what? Al Firdaus is Maf'ul bihi Thani, because Allah is Maf'ul bihi Awal. And then Mansum al Fatha, and then Fees Harfu Jarm Abni al Sukun. Jannah is majurun and the shibhul jumla is a maf'ul fi ghay sariha. Yes, what is it? Maf'ul fi ghay sariha of a mahzuf is taqarrat and this becomes mansub mahallan because maf'ul fi of the mahzuf is taqarrat. And then the mahzuf and the shibhul jumla become the hal. Yes? Yes? You following? And why is it not a nat? Why is it a hal on that? In terms of meaning, it's a description. That's why in the, in the earlier book we just kept it as a, a knot. But when you look at the technicalities and the reason behind it in the Arab, you see the reason behind of it, you make it a hal. So when the jar majroor becomes a shibul jumla and that describes a ma'rifa word, you make it the hal. So the mahzuf and the shibul jumla become the hal. If it describes a ma'nakira word, like this one, then the mahzuf is taqarra. The mahzuf is taqarra and the shibul jumla becomes what? What does it become? Becomes? The knot. It becomes the knot. So, but in terms of meaning, they're both the same. They both describe the, the ma'rifa word before it. Understood? Yes, and the mahzuf and the shibul jumla become the na'at of bayt mansubun mahallan. Understood? Any questions regarding this? Yeah, so alhamdulillah, we finished the first maqsid, the first, well, it's, more, it's about half the book we finish, more than half the book we finish, roughly about half the book. But we finish one third in terms of the maqsid. The first maqsid is what? Al-amil. Al-harf al-amil. Fi'l al-amil. Harf amil and harf ghayr amil. And ism al-amil and ism al-ghayr amil. And then the khatima regarding a few miscellaneous truths about what? The amil being mahzuf. And yeah, the amil being mahzuf and the antanazu. Yes? You follow Okay, let's stop here, inshallah. Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma, wa bihamdika, wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta, wa nasakhiru, wa atubu ilayka.